Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I uh, haven't done a ton of videos this year. It's March of 2025. I uh, just got done with my uh, code class. They're not talking about the 2026 code, but they're rumbling about some of it for next year to talk about. Uh, I go every uh, March um, to IAEI, Independent Electrical Inspectors Association. I'm not an inspector, but I do like hanging out with those guys, learning the things that they have to go through. Maybe one day I'll be an inspector. I don't know. But the point is, is I went out there and they're talking about a lot of changes in 2026 and 2029. So just be prepared. I think they're going to change the format of the book. I remember seeing this when I got in the trade in 90, 98, 99. They had a little book that looked like a novel, like a small Bible. And now it's like a huge, big paperback book for the last seven editions. So anyways, just be prepared. I think they're moving around a lot of articles. Um, anyways, I just want to talk to you real quickly about this, that a lot of people say it's not a big deal to stab breakers in that don't fit or different brands. This is actually a Siemens breaker to a Siemens panel. But this is usually your HVAC tech guys or a really bad electrician that didn't stab this appropriately and it charred here it charred here and this is turned off by the way but yeah this right here this was black we just sanded it down to get them by for a couple of days i don't have time in my schedule to do this until the end of the week but i did just give them a price to pop out this panel and put one back in but a bigger one with more spaces this is a 100 amp bus bar the one we're going to put is a 125 amp bus bar but the main power on the service on the house is only 100 amp. Um, but it, it'll be a little bit nicer bus bar and it'll have more length to it. Um, and we don't have to do so many quads, but we came over here just to do a service call and found this as we popped it open. Lights flickering would be the complaint. And of course that's what it is. But as you pop this out, that's all melted. These two did fine right here. Again, this is all off, but yeah, these made it impossible to reuse now if Siemens ever watches my videos um, I appreciate you guys subscribing to me and hit that like button send it um, definitely haven't put out enough videos because it's funny how YouTube doesn't pay you that much if you don't but um, we've talked about a lot of items over the last 14 years so every once in a while I'll get another video but I've got other fish to fry right now so um, but yeah please subscribe and like but this right here is an example of lights flickering. So when you get on there and AI technology says, oh, it could be a light bulb, a dimmer, LED versus halogen, xenon, whatever. I mean, it could be a switch, could be a breaker, breaker switch, could be a panel, could be a bus bar, could be a breaker, could be the main breaker outside, could be worse and you're losing your neutral and your main feed to the home. And that sure enough will get you a fire that night and you probably will need to run out of your home quick. Make sure your smoke detectors are working. So please don't put it off. And please, just like my chiropractor and my doctor always, we joke about, please don't try to diagnose it yourself. Don't be stupid. Literally, this has taken me 27 years. I look young, but I'm 50. It's taken me 27 years to pinpoint these things. So as I said to a guy the other day that was gonna wire up his garage stuff and have me put the sub panel in, um, yeah, that means you're signing off that you've done it for 27 days probably, and I've done it for 27 years. So there is a, a, a per depth of knowledge that is a lot deeper with us trades guys who do service for the last 27 years to be able to catch these things. If you don't wanna do that, then guess what? That's why we have fire insurance and fire departments and all this other stuff. So in case you don't wanna have a fire, I have a decent amount of customers over the years that follow me that have told me horror stories on either them or their neighbors or someone they knew as a family member who had the house catch fire and it wasn't a forest fire it was an electrical fire so please keep that in mind guys to keep safe electricity is nothing to mess with it does have it is its own animal contained in a panel to help you do power light heat and cooling so anyways guys thanks for joining us again please subscribe to us if you have any other questions just let us know take care